The COVID-19 pandemic is getting more overwhelming by the day with increasing lockdowns, a death toll, more than 8,000 now, and a direct hit to the global economy. But if there is a sliver of good news, it's about how the spread of the virus has impacted air pollution across the globe. Meteorologist Cody Murphy explains. This is what Chinese cities usually look like this time of year. Thick smog blanketing the skyline. This year, there's something different in the air. Blue skies. In several Chinese cities, including Wuhan, the epicenter for the deadly coronavirus, the air pollution has improved significantly due to drastic quarantine measures put in place by the Chinese government. NASA and the European Space Agency released these satellite images from January showing Wuhan's nitrogen dioxide levels and the dramatic drop in February after 11 million people there were quarantined. For the world's biggest polluter, that means a drop in 200 million tons of carbon dioxide. Research also shows that carbon emissions from the aviation industry plunging due to falling demand and widespread travel restrictions. In neighboring Hong Kong, air quality has also improved as the virus triggered partial shutdown. Activists like Patrick Fung have been warning about the long-term impacts of air pollution in his home city for years. There's a uh, 1,500 premature death uh, one year alone in Hong Kong that is caused by air pollution. Now Fung says this brief period of clean air should be a wake-up call. If we want the children, the elderly, who could live uh, healthily in Hong Kong, then we should think about how to make business as usual uh, to change. There's nothing business as usual about a global pandemic that's claimed thousands of lives. But in the short term, the public health crisis for humans may actually be helping the environment. Back to you.